She has the backing of French President Emmanuel Macron and of all 29 French-speaking countries in the African Union. Louise Mushikiwabo looks set to become the first African woman to lead the international organization of La Francophonie. Born in Kigali in 1967, she fled violence in her country in 1990 and settled in the United States. She only returned to Rwanda in 2008, where she served as foreign minister since 2009. Perfectly bilingual in English and French, she has always defended the voice of her country in the organization of La Francophonie, often criticizing what she says is France's interference in African affairs. Qui décide who determines the political future of Africans? It's not Paris, that's obvious. Louise Mushikiwabo's candidacy was made official last May when Rwandan President Paul Kagame visited Paris. She was endorsed by French President Emmanuel Macron, a surprising move given the tense relations between Paris and Kigali since the 1994 Rwandan genocide. France has repeatedly condemned human rights abuses carried out by Kagame's government and expressed concern at its efforts to sideline the French language in Rwanda. English was made an official language in 1994 and Rwanda joined the Commonwealth Organization in 2009. Speaking to France 24, Mushikiwabo said rejecting French was never the plan. I don't think la francophonie is at war with the Commonwealth nor is the French language at war with English. La francophonie is an integral part of a multilingual world, and so is my country. Several NGOs have expressed concern at Mushikiwabo's candidacy, Reporters Without Borders criticizing Rwanda's crackdown on journalists under Kagame.